Johnny, get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. Take it on the run, on the run, on the run. Hear them calling you and... Hello, and welcome to Frontline Rejects. Today on the channel, we're continuing our series on expansion testing, and by viewer request, we're testing the Barnes 130 grain TTSX. A while back on the channel, we had tested the 168 grain TSX in 308, and we got some poor results. So several of you had requested the 130 grain, and here we are. Just to recap, the TTSX and TSX are both all copper monolithic bullets, with the difference being that the TTSX is tipped while the TTSX is not. Now with our load, these 130s are producing just under 3,200 feet per second out of our Ruger American. And of course, we'll be testing from 100 to 500 yards. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video when we get into the real fun stuff, the graphing. And if you'd like to share your experience with these bullets, or if you have any other requests for us to test in the future, then we'd love to hear about it in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Let's get started. Here we have an overview of all ranges fired, excellent expansion at the earlier ranges, with less and less occurring at the later ranges. At the 100 we have what I would consider to be pretty much perfect expansion, with all pedals peeled back evenly to the top relief groove. The 200 is very similar, but we can see expansion beginning to move further up the shank. This trend continues at 300, but we are still getting very even peeling of the bullet. The 400 is when the results begin to visually suffer, and the 500 is almost indistinguishable from the 4. Moving on, we have our results graphed, and we can see good expansion with a well-established trend line sloping downwards consistently until we hit 4 and 500. Weight retention was almost perfectly uniform, with the exception being 2 tenths of a grain at 300 yards. Overall, quite good results. Average expansion was 1.79, and average weight retention was 99.18%. These are good, but with a monolithic bullet, the results we'd like to see are about two times the original size and 95% weight retention. There are two ways we can go about achieving this. One is propel the bullet faster, and the second is to use a lighter bullet. As far as velocity goes, we got 3178 FPS. Load data projects that we could get high 3200s, but we don't have any powder on hand that would get us those results nor do we think we will anytime soon with the current supply chain issues. From a weight standpoint, Barnes does make this bullet in a 110 grain offering, and that is available. We will be bringing that to you in another video shortly, and afterwards we plan on doing a video to compare the results of the 168, 130, and 110 side by side. Stay tuned for that, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.